Welcome back to A Hat in Time. We're gonna check out more community levels today, and since we're starting right away, we can check out some of those lengthier ones that apparently takes take like half an hour to an hour to do. So, and I assume that means half an hour to an hour of loading screen as well beforehand. So prepare for that. We'll just get right to it, and we'll start with. The one I had recommended, which was Hat Kid Steals the Declaration of Independence. You're just in time for Hat. Yes, you are. Hello, don't. Low spec PC. This mode, mode? Mod may not load. It's a big level. Don't be impatient. Yeah, this is gonna take a while, isn't it? Oh boy. Disable depth of field. Have I? I I'm pretty sure I have, because I don't really like it overall. Uh, let's see. Stop. Help. Hello? Go to the right. What's happening? E? Okay. Uh, depth of field. None. Yeah. I do that for the entire game. The world record for this level is only two minutes. Is it? Did it say that? I didn't even see that there were records. Oh, the current speedrun world record is 240. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I mean, I will check it out, see if I can even run this, or if it's gonna just crash on uh, load, or never load, or be like 2 FPS. I don't know what I'm in for. Just someone mentioned this in the first community stream and was like, that's a good one, you should play that. begins. What? What? That was quick? Huh? Really? Surely that's just like the intro and then the proper loading will happen later. Oh, that's actually a pretty good impression. That's close to the original voice. It's definitely different, but... Okay. That one is a little rough, just like on the technical level. Is very, uh, like, room echoey Mike. Sort of like me! You see, hot child, one little girl cannot possibly contain all yeah, that's the pretty good, too. Store. It is too much, too much power. Sorry to backstab you like this, lassie. But that little piece of paper you've stolen, as some people have said, is, is this supposed to just end or start like this? I don't know. Just think of the money we'd save with such unlimited power. We could provide electricity to the entire city. All birds would have free electricity for life. I wonder if this is the same guy that voices all three of those, because, you yeah, understand. he's good. Don't you, Lassie? No like, they're not identical, but they're pretty close. Come back haunting me next to Kin, you hear me? All right. See you, Lassie. Bye. Oh my god. How stylistic. Oh my god, there's an intro, like, song. <laughs> Hope this is, uh, not, like, copyright infringements. I guess that's that's always the weird thing with like community content. You never know what people put in. Well, this is definitely like pretty high production value. It's just three people doing voices. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Well, Elsie, is it by the creator of 
The mod itself? Even got the dance in. Everything is here. Okay, here we go. Here's the loading screen, right? No? What? Okay! That one was just really weird that took like 10 minutes to load. Eight oh seven p.m. Two hours until death. I see. Yeah, it was like ten oh seven or one double oh seven was the time where we died, and now we're doing stuff leading up to that. I suppose. Well, uh, crusty twig textures here, but what can you do? Oh, sticker. Uh, what costume do I have on? None, because of the Celeste thing. So let's get our uh, main thing on, or maybe since it's like... I don't know, which one is fitting of, of this? The song was from the game, Never Stop Sneakin'? Oh, I see. I've never even heard of that. This seems fitting enough. Yeah, let's use this. Why is she standing like that? Also, I definitely will want... Whoop, right? Yeah, the, the badge was there. Definitely will want this one. Yeah, let's have that on so I can look around. Let's get, like, a thumbnail picture. There we go. <laughs> Great. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, this is pretty good so far. The conductor is calling. Do you answer? No. Oh, god damn it! Actually, I thought it would just, like, do it anyway. Um... Alright, we don't take damage. Now I'm curious, I should have answered. So it's like... It's James Bond mixed with, uh, what, like, Luigi's Mansion and Solid, uh, what's it called? Met Metal Gear Solid? I don't even know. Are you Nicholas caging it over here? Am I? What does that even mean? What am I doing if I'm Nicholas caging it? Yeah, we got some MGS concept art. Good old Snake and Meryl. Yeah, it's like a mashup. Well, this is just official concept art. We can sit on the sofas. Great. Heck. How dare you. Okay, there's a lock. Did you know some ships have onboard morgues? Spooky. Okay, that's random. Alright, we can only go one direction. No, we can go over here as well. So, I, I have to sneak, I guess? Alright. Yeah, it's a little crusty, frame rate wise but we'll see if it... Oh, if it gets worse. Ah, shit. I don't even know where I'm going. Can I not just, like, skip past this? If I do some, like... Now, I want to see if I can do that. Just, like, jump over them. 
Oh, you can't climb up here? Yeah, maybe you can't then. That looked like I should be able to, but all right, let's play by the rules. Oh God, Jesus, easier said than done. What the hell just happened? Okay, that was weird. Oh my God. What's this? Mess with the fridge. Absolutely. What's going on over there? I better check it out. Uh-oh. Oh no. Stop. Go away. I see? So that's what we were doing here? But then I have to go all the way back, do I? Oh my god, I didn't think that one turned around! Do I still have the key? I do, alright, that's fine. So now we can unlock one door. Uh, I guess we'll stick to the left side. So it's not linear, this one. This is a pre-recorded message. Only the owner of the mansion should know the answer to these questions. Oh. Question one. In 2015, how many people took rides on cruise ships? Um, well, I mean, out of anything here, it must be 500,000 plus, because if it's 23 million plus, then 500 plus would also be right. Wrong. Come on. That's true. That's true, though. My logic is flawless. <laughs> I called bullshit on that. Oh. How do I climb up? At what? Up here? I guess that's a little weird. All right, and now we have to go over here to get another key, I suppose. So I guess it's like over on the left, you have to unlock that to input the right answers. And then to get the answers, we probably get them from that room. So we have to do this side as well. Oh. The Titanic is around 800 feet in length or around 270 meters. Or we just find all of this. I see that was considered huge, which is funny because nowadays cruise ships average around 1200 feet or 360 meters, times sure do change, and none of those are sinking. There's a lot of cruise ship facts and stuff. What does this say? Place your bets. Is it Peck? It's Boop. Fun facts with Shellag, yep. Let's learn so much about cruise ships. Oh my god. Actual stealth sections. Oh! The conductor is calling. Do you answer? All right, fine. Oh my god. I wish I had answered the first one. Chances are, if you get spotted, they'll notice you instantly. No time to run around their line of sight or anything like that. Let's see. That library is really crowded, and there's tons of little hiding spots around there. You want to stay in those to avoid being seen. Kind of unnecessary to even tell me this. It was pretty obvious. Does that mean he betrays us? Yeah, exactly. It seems like it. So we just sit and wait here. Engaging stealth gameplay. Metal Gear in a nutshell. <laughs> Whoops. Wrong button. Let's go for it. Oh my god, that camera change is a little jarring. Right, we have to wait here. 
Don't even need that. That was a bit of a waste. What am I getting over here? The key, I guess? One pawn. Rift token. And the key? Nope. Uh-oh. Can't see me here! So I, I can, like... Wait, hold on. Ah, invisible wall. Alright. At least we didn't get spotted there, so that was good. Oh man, we have to go over here as well. Steal everything. Sticker. Oh! What? No getting out of their line of sight, he said. That wasn't true. You do have some, like, lenience. There we go. Oh my god. Um, I can't see anything. Why is it so dark here? Dear Diary, I'm thinking about taking a seven-day cruise with a captain. That's what most people do, after all. Okay. I don't know if I need to rem remember that, that it's seven days. But now we get out of here. It's a little time-consuming, but, I mean, the stealth mechanics are implemented well, at least. Yeah, here we go. It's just the same room, basically. This is a pre-recorded message. Only the owner hmm, okay. So we have to find the answers elsewhere. Question one. Some ships have onboard morgues. True or false? That's true. Next question. Maybe you can trial an error or two. Question two. The original Titanic is three times bigger than modern cruise ships. That's false. Correct. Final question. Final question. What? Final question. percent of U.S. citizens have taken a cruise holiday? Uh, false. You... Okay, all, right? I just guessed. Uh, guess Sounds too high. Right, yeah, I, I guess we just guess. I don't know, you can probably find how many uh, people go on cruises somewhere, but like, that might be in there and I don't want to go back to the kitchen. That was kind of an annoying area. Watch out! <laughs> Thanks. Let's just look around for more things to read here. Yeah, there we go. It appears to be a ticket to a cruise ship called the Meow Meow Cruise. Okay, that's not helpful. Did you know in 2015, 23 million people took, or more than 23 million people took rides on cruise ships? Again, I had that correct because I said 500,000 plus, which includes more than 23 million. I want my money back. Something was on the bookshelf as well. Which one? Like, up here? Because that one I already looked at. This one. Or, what do you mean? Anything else? Yeah, that one I already looked at early on. It was about the morgues. There are morgues on ships. This is a pre question in 2015. All right. Very good. Question, there is a cruise ship dedicated to people who love cats. Oh, he didn't finish the question, but it's the Meow Meow Cruise. Correct. Final question. What is the most common length for a vacation cruise? Seven days. You got them all right. Actually, didn't have to guess. Guess I'll activate this side, then. Of course, yeah. 
That bookshelf did look conspicuous. Big brain. Yes, I am equivalent of like a, a fourth grader in mental capacities. Tell me why the bookcase's secret passage has just been activated. Um, um, Captain, I think there was an intruder. And you haven't stopped them? What are you seals even doing? Stop that intruder. Aye, aye, Captain. Maybe I should have gone in, but I just wanted to listen to that. Well, nothing changed. But now, we have to do more stealth. Alright. Or just run through. That's fine, too. Oh, okay. Oh. Let's hide here. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Pretty simple section. Nice bow. Alright, let's always answer these. I kind of want to go back into it later on and check the first one. Did it say egg? I didn't even mention or uh, notice that. Great. This is where it is hidden it in the thirteenth dimension. This is, of course, the only way to contain its power in a raw form. But we're gonna invade that realm. I'm currently in the attic of the mansion. I got here to use the portal as well. However, I cannot invade the thirteenth dimension by myself. That's where you come in, Lassie. You need to open a portal to that realm, and then you need to release the Declaration of Independence. Once you do that, I'll use a portal to lock onto your location, and then I'll retrieve you and the Declaration of Independence. We already know the massive here. twist. So should open the portal. Got it, Lassie? Good. You're a good listener, you know that? Anyways, conduct that out. All right. Picture of an egg. Yeah, I didn't see it. Guess that was uh, in the previous hallway. Oh, almost walked into the mafia dude. Um. So we can go left and right, and then once again, it's gonna be locked left and right. No. That's a weird gate. All right, so we only have two ways to go. Maybe I should use the time stop hat if I need to. Okay, this is a weird room. Oh, I see it. I, I don't see myself though. There we go. If this was Metal Gear Solid, you would be able to kill the guards. Yeah, that's true. Can't move the camera here. I mean, we can try, I guess, but I don't think I can. Nope. Whoops. Hold on, let's just try one more time. Nope, not, not that. Yeah, it just alerts them. All right. Stealth is the only option. It's a microphone. You should yell into it. What will Hat Kid yell into the microphone? Heck, Yeet, or Metal Gear? Let's go for Metal Gear. Huh? Who is yelling into microphone? Only Mafia yell into microphone. Okay, and that distracts the Mafia. Okay. <laughs> So we can get over here, I guess. That's not a sticker. No, that's a little particle. I don't know what that did. I guess I have to go back and hit a button on the right side as well. So we might be done here. And this is the seal side. We can just, like, cheese it. 
Well, kind of. You can cheese some of it. So what are we doing here? This button. Yeah, okay. Now we can enter the 13th dimension, I guess. Sick jingle. Why, why don't you just, like, go to where the Declaration of Independence is instead of stopping me? Just go there and take it. That'll be easy. Skip this cutscene. That's weird. No. It just entered the portal. Uh, I guess that for speedrun purposes. They get their hands on this. You can say no and stuff. That's kind of interesting. That is made with that in... Taken into consideration. So you don't have to do the codec calls. You don't have to watch the cutscenes. Huh. So it's you, pup. When I heard that the mansion was being invaded, I suspected someone, well, other than you. Yeah, this in two minutes. So, I have no idea how that's even possible. The ultimate weapon, the Declaration of Independence. The Declaration of Independence is an omnipowerful 75th dimensional object. That kind of power shouldn't be kept in the hands of just anyone. The conductor sent you? He said I'm hogging the power to myself. <laughs> the conductor that you've been talking to is most likely not the real conductor. The conductor has been yes. away on vacation for half a month now. He's hanging with his grandkids. The conductor you've been talking to? Chances are, since he wanted you to steal the Declaration of Independence, I'm 100% sure you've been talking to a shapeshifter. Is it, uh, what is he called? Snatcher? These fourth dimensional beings have been trying to steal the Declaration of Independence since the Is that gonna time. be the big twist? They want to rule the universe with it. Now that you've entered this realm, they can enter it too. Oh no, I let them in. Listen here, pup. You've been misled. Now you need to make up for it. And I just need to trust you instead of you the person really that need I'm to following? The Declaration of Independence before the shapeshifter does. I'll make paths for you so you can claim it, but you must get there before the shapeshifter does. Now everything's just flipped. Suddenly, the will most likely try to he doesn't want to stop us. Just ignore it and everything will be fine. Good luck, pup. You're thinking the penguin? Oh yeah, DJ Grooves. Ow! Ow! This is kind of not pleasant to look at. Very, very white and very bright and vibrant. A little bit too much. A, bit, a little hard to see the platforms too. Oh god, should probably use the time stop hat. But I'm not going to. Okay, I definitely should. <laughs> Let's use... I, I always forget like how to use hats in this game. Yeah, let's use that just to make it a little easier. Alright, now what? What are we doing here? Can we hookshot these? Yeah. What the hell is happening? <laughs> I couldn't see anything. I mean, it's kind of cool, like, design-wise, but, yeah, the visuals of this place are a little too much for me. You really are a fool, don't you know, Lasse? <laughs> the power that it gives off, it's so alluring, and I will be the one to take it! Alright, not too bad, at least. You haven't asked me about my day! Most likely more interesting than yours. No, no, it's like a dream. We run and run, but we can't reach it. I've been home last night. It was dark, spooky, and 
idiot. I had a couple of miles left to go, when suddenly I saw a bright light. And then I passed out. But when I came to, I was back home. What do you think happened that night? I hid it's amazing when the famous purple stuffed worm. In Flapjaw space with the tuning fork. Like this alone is like two minutes. How can you possibly do this in two minutes? I'm curious about that. Let's just wait here. We like Ike. We like Ike? From Smash? That's there it is. Open it up. It's going to be mine soon. Open it up. Quick, pop. Grab it. <laughs> Sick animation. <laughs> you thought you could grab it before I did? Nice try, you old sea dog. Shapeshifter. My name is the conductor. <laughs> Can't you see? I'm the con con conductor. No, he's absorbed it. He's become much more powerful. I can see. And this everything. is still before we get to the attic scene. Omnipresent. Omnipowerful. Omniexistent. <laughs> Sit back, Lassie. Actually, a pretty solid evil laugh for being a fan dub. Behold my power of omnipresence. You checked in the video where the speedrun has been set to private? Ah, that's too bad. Maybe there's some like copyright issues or something. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> close program. Oh, oh no, this is too real. Too real, I can't handle this. No. It brings back too many PTSD memories, please. Look, as I change textures, slow down the music. So much power. Poof! I just destroyed a galaxy. Which one? Who knows? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Not ukulele. <laughs> now, I'm going to phase back into the third dimension. Try and catch me, idiot! David, he has so much power now. How is he even communicating with me still? You need to retrieve that paper. The balance of the universe rests in your hands. But we can't chase him. The only way to where he just went is through his exit portal. But exit portals are called exit portals for a reason. Huh? You're asking if you can just walk through the exit portal, pup. You do realize the exit chamber is over 5,000 degrees Kelvin once it's been used. Which That's has... fine. We have the ice hat. You want to go anyways? Pop, you won't survive that. Ugh, you're right. We don't really have any other choice, do we? Ugh. Fine. If you somehow don't burn to death, then we may have a chance to beat the shapeshifter. Good luck then, I guess. All right, sounds good. What happens if I uh, slow down time? Oh, it actually like, speeds up time. That's weird. Using the time stop hat is a speed up hat.
Yeah, pretty fast loading screens, though. Contrary to what the, uh, the mod was saying. Unless I just jinxed it. I just fucking jinxed it, didn't I? <laughs> I'll just have some water then. Well, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, it said this was like 40 minutes. Yeah, that's why I started with it. I figure I have time. There was another one that said it was very long that I wanted to try, so I might do that as well. Thanks. What a nice guy. I have no idea how you survived that, but it doesn't matter. Because here is where you die, just like in the opening. Yes, the fourth wall. <laughs> it's non-existent. Well, let's go back to the opening of the spot, where I kick you out of this window. Boss time. <laughs> oh, it's straight up just Metal Gear solid music. Damn it, I, I was trying to press the button and it wouldn't. Maybe I should use time stop. Can I just go up? No, I can't. There we go. So far, so good. Not too bad. Pretty similar to uh, the conductor fight. And <laughs> he's got the buster sword. God damn it. Yeah, I guess it's just like a modified conductor fight, really. Ow, I just walked into that. Thanks, camera. <laughs> Gotta have all the references. Um, what's happening? What was that? What? Ah, oh, shit. Didn't jump in time. But I'm just getting healed over and over. Those are supposed to be like the cars, but they don't do anything. I just keep not jumping before that. This is kind of a weird fight. Like, it's not really that different from just the normal fight. It's very simple, just kind of an extensive fight. Oh, and the parade thing, yeah. This may be a little bit drawn out. I think it could have done with being slightly shorter. Ah, oh, I missed the window. Okay, there we go. I just 
instant loading screen. The beginning of the mod wasn't actually the future at all. I shouldn't be beatable or even damageable. Meanwhile, I'm just listening to some sick tunes. I am. I don't even care. Present. That's it. So that means I'm also part of you right now. So you also have this power. Okay. Logic. Biggest. Mistake. You've bested me. Is it gonna fake it out? This is not actually the end? Nice. I was hoping we could bounce on him. <laughs> the Declaration of Independence has transformed into a timepiece. This must be a really powerful timepiece. It cannot fall into the wrong hands again, and then... Psych double twist, it's actually the uh the walrus that's the the evil one, right? There we go, I guess that's it. And we get peace and tranquility to end it off. And was all this just a movie? And so, after a grueling battle, Hat Kid was triumphant over the shapeshifter. But is this the end of the story? What will become of the other shapeshifters, now that Hat Kid owns the Declaration of Independence? Will the Mafia ever truly find love? Find out next time in The Golden Eye of the Shapeshifters. No seals, Mafia birds, shapeshifters, or kids were harmed in the making of this movie. Written by Elsie. Yeah, there we go. So it was written, programmed, and like, intro covered by the same person. That's very, very impressive. Yeah, the voiceovers were pretty decent as well for being fan covers or f fan dubs. The great and powerful Ouija. Nice. The end for now. Yeah, parts of it were maybe a little drawn out. But overall, it was, it was very high quality and like well made. Man, so good to see this Pretty decent movie. writing and all that as well. You enjoyed it, didn't you? It's the biggest action movie in Bear history. I know I said that once already, but uh, I mean it this time. Let's see how it reviewed. Oh, peck ya! Yeah. It's a reviewing well. Sevens and nines all around. This movie is great. Sadly. It reviewed worse than Murder on the Owl Express. <sighs> Maybe kids these days hate action. Decent reviews! Though I wonder if you could get a higher review score by collecting more conductor tokens throughout the level. Ah, Or maybe you don't care about review scores. I thought I collected all of them! I didn't see anyone or any that I didn't get. Maybe you don't want to replay the level. Understandable. Oh well. Oh hey, speaking of reviews, why don't you review this level? Okay, fair enough. You've earned it, I suppose. Yeah, there we go. Good level. I wonder how many I missed of those stickers or whatever. Well, sevens and nines. I guess that's like the second best score that you can get. But yeah, that was kind of cool. Again, maybe a little drawn out here and there. But overall, quite nice. Now it goes in the trash. <laughs> So there was another one that was also, like, relatively long that I wanted to test out. Can't remember which one it was. Uh, Magic Academy, I think? Yeah, average runtime is 30 minutes. Extra 30 minutes required to 100% mod. Ooh. Ah. Okay, maybe this one again has to be left for another time. And we'll do... Uh, I mean, I guess I can stream another hour, but knowing me, if it says it takes an hour, it'll take two hours, you know? Um, yeah, maybe we should do something else. Short and sweet, pink metro level in the sky? Hmm. I don't know.
Snow City. Just explore around. Yeah, sure, okay. Welcome to Snow City. This is a casual, explorable level with no real danger. Collect all the blue ponds, explore the city to your heart's content, and maybe complete a side quest. Uh, there's some uh, music. I sure hope that's also <laughs> DMCA free. We never know anymore. Festival of Horrors. I guess we can check that out if this one doesn't take too long. Check if there's anything here. I'm never making something this big for a modding jam ever again. Okay, understandable. Nice sound. We'll see how long it takes to load. Is the record gonna get be uh, broken? Someone needs to go back in like time how long that loading screen lasted for. I'm not even sure if I cut it out of the highlight or not. I can't remember. Okay, pretty quick. So that was maybe just part one of the loading screen. No, okay, good. Oh, okay. We're still fine. Right, wait, Snow City, so let's get... Let's get the uh, Nyakusa stuff on, I guess. Yeah. Or the raincoats. Let's do Nyakusa for now. Yeah, here's that energy mechanic again. What, where, was this even in the main game? I don't remember that being a thing. When did that happen? Yeah, online password. No, I don't really want to do online right now. That was in the Metro DLC? Huh. I don't remember that. that. Remember that at all. It's a little framey, but we'll check it out. And I guess that's it. It's just like explore around a cityscape. We should probably put the uh, let's remove no bonk and get the magnet. Or wait, can you even magnet these? No, you can't. All right, so that doesn't matter. Should probably get the scooter badge on. That would be fitting. Riding through the night cities. As uh, Night City Streets. Nothing going on here. I like the music at least. Let's hope it's not problematic. So do the, the cars like damage you? Yeah, they do. All right. Makes sense. I wonder if there's more than 200, or if 200 is exactly the amount that have been placed, so you have to find every single one. Yeah, it looks like it's just kind of going to be this. It did say there were side quests, though, but we'll see what that even means. This is mostly just driving around, collecting blue electric pawns. I think I've gone too far off the grid. Oh god, help. Can't jump, there we go. Yeah, parts of it look a little crusty too, like low poly and stuff. 
You can see the like grid pattern on the snow. So how do I get up there? Oh, I see, I see. Because wait, I can't just be in the water, right? I think this is like cold. I don't know, let's just go across. And a lot of them here. Whoops. It's kind of good at this point in the stream, just like chill out, listen to some jazz, <laughs> explore around. Not really very demanding. Oh god, don't do that. Um, are you f fine, car? Oh, here we go, side quest. Ah, my car broke down. Would you happen to have anything to help me out? I gotta get to the convenience store as quickly as possible. No time to waste. Okay, so somehow we might be able to fix a car? Can't seem to get anything here. I don't know what we're looking for in order to fix the car. Subway? What does it say? Thanks. <laughs> okay. These are just Nyakusa assets, not like custom stuff. Um, am I supposed to be going here? Uh oh. Help! Where are we going? Take the corners well, and I'll be fine. Uh, maybe. What was the point? Okay, we're fine. Maybe we should get up on the train instead? Oh wait, this is a different station. Okay. But yeah, maybe there would have been some if we ride on the train. Let's just check that out. Riding a scooter on a train. There we go. We're almost halfway though. And no, doesn't seem like there's anything, so now we just have to wait. Yeah, this is kind of like putting me to sleep, like in a good way. <laughs> I'm getting very relaxed and kind of ready for sleep eternal. Can't go in here. I should have just ended with this map. Heard rumors that Cooking Cat herself something. Break into the kitchen for an aut autograph. And get arrested. I don't know if these are like are these unique lines or are they from Nyakusa? Oh my god. Nice like Christmas park. Wanna see a movie or something? Depends, what's playing? I don't keep track of movies much anymore. The new movie by the conductor, what's it called? 
Wait, don't say it. Don't worry, I got this. Started with a P, I think. Stop! What if kittens are listening? Oh, I remember the name. Train Rush. That was from three years ago. Great. I wonder if that's new or old. Oh. What? What just happened? 153? Okay, I, I have a ticket, I guess. Hey, you wouldn't happen to be THE some girl, would you? The one starring in so many Dead Bird studio films? I'm a cosplayer. No way, my friends won't believe me when I tell them I met a real cosplayer! That's me! Okay. <laughs> I met some girl. Can you even imagine meeting a real cosplayer? As if those exist. I wonder how we fix the, uh... The car, if we can. Buy something. Coffee. Or tea. I'll have some tea. Yeah, just normal. I'm a library? Oh, what is this mafia dude? Crazy hair. Oh, he's wearing like the ice hat that we can have. Hello, miss. Oh god, I'm not doing this. I'm reading my favorite book. It's called, uh... Duck Shun... Shunawi? What? I have no... Oh, I see. The book is upside down. Wait, what was that? Shit. What would it be? Dictionary. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, that would have taken me a while to figure out. What could be so important to you? What? What could be so important to for you to want to pull me away from my fine literature? This is not some fictional story, mind you. I am part of the Hoot Hootgami family, and deep studies of stories such as these are essential to our hone to ho to our hone our perfection. Slight grammar issues, I suppose. Manga is not literature, you say? Such ignorance. You're just a single plankton along with the 99% of population. Your opinions don't matter to me. Okay, it's a weeb. I'm kind of, I stopped going through this methodically, now I'm just exploring. Going randomly around. Take this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about side quests, but I'll at least try and like finish up the 200. We'll see what happens then. So far, we've only found one alleged side quest, and even that, I'm not sure if I can even finish. Here we go. That might have been cheese. More food? Yeah, okay. Skip that. Anyone here? No one to talk to? No? I mean, it's it's a, a cool city, I guess, and the vibe is nice, but yeah, it's a little empty. Like, it is just explore around. And the city is definitely the high highlight, not like... Oh, Jesus, nice turn. Not like 
the outer parts. Those were a little scuffed. All the citizens are stealing my hats. I haven't been paying attention, but yeah, I guess they're using different hat cosmetics. Side quest? Nope, just more food. Man, I'm getting hungry now. Oh no. All the food in this game looks so appetizing in Yakuza. Just going around those food stalls makes you so goddamn hungry. This looks suspicious. Oh, it's one in there. Hmm, I ordered a present for the children, but it hasn't arrived yet. Hello, miss. Sorry, you need to be... Baby years old to join the daycare. You're kid years old. We're very sorry, miss. Okay, unfortunate. Alright, I've been here. There's more stuff, like, up on top of the... Uh, buildings and stuff, and I'm not exactly sure how I get up there. Like, right there. How the fuck do we get up here? Jump between alleyways, maybe? You have to go to dinner now. Alright, fair enough. Thanks for stopping by. I actually haven't really eaten anything for a while. I had a very early dinner and haven't eaten since, so I might have to, like, eat at 1.30 in the morning once we're done here. No, damn it. Hold on. Let's do the opposite. Oh, I can't do that. There we go. Well, this didn't help. I have no idea how to get up on top of the buildings. Oh, maybe here? No? That doesn't help. It's also a little dark. It's kind of hard to see stuff. Well, this is one way, I guess. Yeah, there we go. I need to get across there, but I don't know how. Well, guess we'll find a different way up. Mail office? Hello, small child. Today is busy day in post office. Many letters and packages sent for holidays. Sadly, only Mafia is here. Mafia need to watch post office so letters are not stolen. Mafia needs someone to take present to the daycare. Small child looks like she from the daycare. Here, small child, take present back to your daycare. Yay, we actually get a proper side quest. Alright, let's do that. Just in time to be, like, done with everything. So, daycare was, uh, wait, was it? It wasn't here, was it? Nope. I already forgot. Right here? Yeah. You have our present! Thank you, miss! Would you like this cookie in return for your hard work? But if you want, you can share it with someone who likes cookies. So here we go. Fetch quests galore. So now we need to find someone that likes cookies, and then eventually we'll find someone that can repair or something that can repair the car, I guess. So who would like a cookie? We haven't been over here. Time's End Bookstore. Oh, we have been here. Looking to buy? Yeah, some more food.
Five more. Can I go in here? Yep. You look like you would like cookies, right? All right. There were more than 200. So there it is, but we'll uh, leave it for now. I want to see if I can complete the side quest at least. Shopping around? Is this a different subway? Or maybe there's like more than two stations to get off at. I'm just assuming, like, most of these doors are not enterable, yeah. And we've been up here. Oh god. Camera. Please. Yeah, where do we find someone that wants a cookie? Why I'm still bothering. Oh no! No! God damn it. Oh man. Gotta redo that. At least we can get right here. Oh my god, please. Yeah, it's getting to the time where I'm, like, starting to lose my mind a little bit. And the relaxing Jess is both helping and not helping, depending on your fucking perspective. God damn it, I could have just gone for it. I didn't see that there was a hookshot. There we go. Oh, never mind. Thought it was a shortcut. Alright, one more time. Okay, let's just go for it. You want a cookie, right? Hello, miss. I'm work looking for an egg. I don't know why I don't have one yet. I built a nest for the egg, and I put it very high where the eggs can find it. What am I missing? Okay, so we need an egg here. Not a cookie. God damn it. I don't think I've been in here. Oh, very bright. Too bright for my eyes. Anyone want a cookie in here? You look like you could want a cookie. Sir? Anyone? Nice little mall, at least. No one wants cookies, I guess. <laughs> Dry cleaner, I guess. You want a cookie? Mafia sees Santa. Mafia wonder. Why Santa here in Puny Mall when Santa works so hard in North Pole? Mafia also wonder how Santa break into all Mafia homes in one night without leaving footprint. Mafia come to conclusion that solve both problem. Santa clone self. Many Santas all through the world. But this troubles Mafia. If Mafia speak to Santa and Maul, how Mafia know if that real Santa Santa or just clone? Mafia want to ask, but if Mafia reveals Santa's secret, Santa not like Mafia. Mafia think knowing things is burden. That's why Mafia not think most time. Makes sense to me. Hello, small child. What is small child's name? You should know, Santa. Uh, of course, Ma uh, Santa knows everyone's name. Okay, little Susan, before you tell Santa your wish, Santa's legally required to hand you this document. Disclaimer, although being in con total control of Christmas, Santa's not responsible if your desired present does not arrive. According to the naughty and nice law, this cannot be used as evidence against Santa in court if one desires. The user must claim full responsibility for the outcome of 
of the wish you ask Santa. Thank you for reading. Now, please tell Santa what small child wants for Christmas. Uh... Closure for this quest line, please. It's my own fault if I don't get closure. Damn it! It's true, I know. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, Santa could have wanted a cookie. Bye, Skyrim. Thanks, Todd. <laughs> this is like my favorite area in the game. This mall is well made. Man, who wants a cookie though? I don't think I've seen anyone that wanted a cookie here. Do you want a cookie, weeb dude? Do you want a cookie? Oh man. I don't know who could possibly want it. And I don't even know where I can go at this point. I don't remember seeing anyone that was hungry. Can't talk to anyone here. Wonder if anyone's mentioning this on like the workshop page for it. We could have a look. Uh I guess just community hub. What was this one called? I already forgot. Snow City. No one mentions cookies here. Let's go through the comments. No, no cookie. The cookie goes to the mall Santa. What? Oh, come on. You have to talk like multiple times. Oh, man. It did make sense. Like, yeah, Santa cookie. But since I talked to him and he didn't want it, I just figured. Nope, that's not it. That's a little unclear. Like, why not just tack on that after the whole legal document? He would just be like, oh, say, nice cookie you got there. Small child already asked Mafia for a present. Small child should... Wait, small child has cookie? If small child gives cookie to Santa, Santa will give very special gift that children love. Here, take this. Yeah, I don't love that. That's a little bit much. Alright, well, now we can repair the car. Though, where was that? That's the question. I think it's over in this direction. It was like right here. Yeah. Kids love gasoline. Great gift. Yeah, exactly. Is that gasoline for me? Thanks. Let me just fix my... Found this thing jamming the car. Maybe I didn't need gasoline after all. It's an egg. It's an egg. Egg. Perfect. Now we have to go all the way up there again, but we're getting close, close to closure. I should probably just jump across. Yeah, I think in hindsight, this map should probably, I probably shouldn't have bothered with the entire thing. Like, it's kind of a fun thing to check out for like five minutes, but probably shouldn't have bothered with a side quest or collecting 200 of those things. Because it just ends up taking a long, long time. But it is a, a neat map. Just, yeah, a little bit lengthy if you actually play the map.
Oh, an egg! Are you the egg delivery girl? Thank you very much, miss. I've been waiting here for an egg for the past 12 days. I don't know how to get down from here. But it's alright. Don't worry, miss. Now I have my egg. That's all I need. That's it. Alright. Whoa, what? It's alright, miss. You can have the little coin that came out. Oh, I see the egg opened or cracked. I will just live up here remembering my egg. It's better to be happy I had one than to cry. I gave up my dreams of getting an egg to pursue... Pursuit? Pursue, it should be, my new dream to get a sock. I know a very nice lady who loves those. Okay, I'm sure we don't get a sock, right? Like, that. it's, it's done. I think that's the end of it, because we got the rift token. Now we can get out. Uh, where is the timepiece, though? Oh, there we go. Okay, it was just slightly out of... out of reach, out of rendering distance. Yeah, let's get out of here now. Definitely overcommitted to this one. Kind of fun to ride around the scooter, though, because, like, you don't really use the scooter much in the main game, I feel. It's not super useful in many situations. There we go. Yeah, if we can find, like, a small one... Oh, spaceship. A small map, I could go for that. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, I don't think I'm gonna vote this up. I'm not definitely not gonna downvote it. It was good, but yeah, I don't know. Not quite, like, like-worthy for me. It was cool enough. I guess I should go find that sticker, because why not? Oh, well, that was simple. Can we just jump up normally? No, we definitely need to, like, bounce on the burger, maybe? No, that doesn't help. Just jump from here, I guess. Alright. Yeah, let's see if there's one that looks kind of short and sweet. I think there was one that actually said short and sweet. So yeah, there was that horror one, but I imagine that probably takes a bit more time. Festival of Horrors. I have no idea, but yeah, I imagine that one is probably a little, a little longer. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's try this one. Fog and Funky Mauve Metro. Because it said it was short and sweet. A very short and sweet pink metro level in the sky using the new Power Pawn mechanic as seen in DLC 2. Oh, that again. Yeah. <laughs> Run, jump, and dive across this pink fog swamp metro and collect, collect five, fifty. Jesus, I can't read anymore. Fifty shiny electrical pawns and unlock your prize, the timepiece. Refill your health at the snack vendors and take a ride on the cat-propelled trains to reach different separated platform islands on your way to the finish. Hold on. This level includes a timepiece, two rift tokens. You can do it in reverse. Okay. Yeah, let's try it out. I was a bit concerned after that one loading screen that we uh, encountered that like, oh man, are all commu community levels just going to be super, super slow to load because they're loading so many assets? But seems like that one was an anomaly, which is good. God, did I just jinx it again? I might have just jinxed it again. I jinx everything. Well, see you in 10 minutes.
That was supposed to be a counter jinx. Come on. You're supposed to like really take a head at that point. No. Well, damn. Thank God. Jesus Christ. Yeah, all the time spent on this level was in the loading. Alright, here we go. Well, it looks cool. And it, like, initially runs well at least. That was very poorly timed. So yeah, this is where you can, like, do it in reverse if you want to. Get rid of some badges. Let's get no bonk in and ah, uh, Magnus is kind of pointless. This is probably not going to be useful. Yes, like fast hatter. Not sure if I'll need it. Oh, we can't go up there. I'm just gonna jump off here for now. Yeah, it just seems like a bit of a Nyakusa style platforming section, like no unique assets or anything. Just put together in a neat little package. We got food stalls. Thank God for no bonk badge. I would have definitely bonked there. Well, it seems like a pretty simple level as well. It doesn't seem like there's too much to it. Really, we are going to spend more time on the loading screen. Which is weird, because it's not loading any new assets. I really wonder why it was so slow to load. When it's like a pretty small level and using only game the game's normal assets, as far as I can tell. It's a little strange. Definitely need to collect all these pawns. Very, very important. So this is where you would have shown up if you took the manhole cover. Oh, and that's just where the timepiece is? Oh, you see, the timepiece is up here, but we need to connect, uh, collect all the energy to open it. See, I kind of, like, skipped a section. What are you saving pawns for? Uh, stocks. Investments. But yeah, I don't think there's anything we can even do with pawns anymore, except go into that one level that had, like, a pawn rift token shop. But, I don't know. Don't really see the point in doing that. I can do it! I did it! Nice. Yeah, just generally, I like the vibe of this level, and it runs very well, so that's a plus. But it's nothing, like, hugely special, I would say. Just kind of a neat little level. And we're done. Were there actually 51 energy things, or did I miss one, like, somewhere? That's one right there, is it? Or is that a heart pawn? I don't even know. It would be kind of weird if there were 51. Okay, there, yeah, that's one. So I guess there are a couple more for leniency. Oh, yeah, there's more here as well.
Wait, hold on. Hey, kid, can you smell that? It's like a cheesy cheese kind of smell. You know, where's it coming from? Wait, underneath? Can we get cheese? Hold on, let me actually get the uh, camera badge. We found one Rift token, so apparently there should be another one somewhere. Maybe that has to do with this cheese. I don't know how we would get that, though. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what you want. I might just give up on that. Oh, there it is. So never mind, I guess the cheese is just nothing. So we just have to go all the way around here. Oof, okay. I see. There's another manhole. So what's up with that? That takes me back to the start. And then this takes me to the end. Yeah, but then if I do it again, does it cycle or just go back to the start again? Yeah, okay. So that was just like a way back. All right. Yeah, like I said, short and sweet level, kind of neat, but not, like, incredible. And again, the loading was insane. I don't know why it takes so long to load, but there we go. I think I'm gonna leave it off there for the stream tonight. Yeah, fun, fun time. I don't know how far we are into getting, like, 30 Rift tokens and community levels, but I'm enjoying them, so I'm just gonna keep doing it every now and then, and we'll just continue on. Yeah. Let me just check quick. Hmm. I don't know if I should bother, like, raiding or anything. There's not many people here, really. <laughs> There's Rift Tokens on the file. Yeah, I know. I, I don't really care to know. Like, I don't want to actually find out. I'll just keep playing them until we get the achievement. That's fine. But yeah, let's leave it off there. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next weekend.